Let's talk about scientific notation. Scientific notation can be used to write very large or very small numbers. So, taking a look, um, at its closest, Jupiter is about 629 million kilometers from Earth. That's a long distance. That's a large number. Uh, sometimes I don't feel like I want to write down that number all the time. It's a lot of zeros. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use scientific notation. Let's take that number now, 629 million. I can write that as 6.29 times 100 million or 6.29 times 10 to the 8th, taking that 100 million and simplifying it using exponential notation. Now you might see it as 6.29 times 10 to the 8th with a dot or you could also see it with a multiplication symbol, 6.29 times 10 to the 8th. For our purposes we're going to be using the dot. Now there are several elements to scientific notation. You need to make sure to have a coefficient, a base, and an exponent. Now in terms of the coefficient, that value a has to be greater than or equal to 1, but it has to be less than 10. So essentially you're looking at a number equal to or greater than 1, but less than 10, in order for that coefficient to be in scientific notation. So if we take a look at an example here between scientific notation and standard form. Let's say I want to write 427.7 in scientific notation. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take that decimal and move it over two places. One, two and you see I get 4.277. That accomplishes my goal of having the coefficient be between 1 and 10. Then, in order to get that to what I'm looking for, I need to multiply it by 100. Now, instead of multiplying it by 100, because I need to have the second element as a power of 10, I'm going to write that as 4.277 times 10 to the second. Now I've rewritten my number in scientific notation. Let's take a look at 0 0.007. As I move the decimal now, one, two, three places, that gets my number over in between, uh, by moving the decimal three places to the right, I get it over to seven, but now instead of multiplying it by a thousand, I'm actually multiplying it by one over a thousand. That's how I'm getting my smaller number. But instead of writing one over one to a thousand, I could write it as times ten to the negative third, or seven times ten to the negative third. Since we know in order to make this fraction into exponential notation, I need to write it as 10 to the negative third. If you're a little lost on that step, we can break it down further. 1 over 1,000. Remembering our previous rules, I can write that as 1 over 10 to the third. But when dealing with scientific notation, you want to make sure to have values with just one base and exponent, so in this case it's necessary to write it as 10 to the negative third instead of as a fraction. Now if I'm going from scientific notation to standard form, I have 7.1, whoops, that doesn't really look like 7.1, as I said, 7.1 times 1,000, So in that case, my answer is just 7,100. I just go ahead and multiply out and get my answer in standard form. And then I have 2.5 times 10 to the negative second. So I have 2.5 times 1 over 100, 10 to the negative second, is the same thing as 1 over 10 to the second, which is going to simplify 2. 1 over 100, 
which taking that a step further, multiplying by that value, it, we're really dividing it by the 100. Then you can see that that's going to get my final answer of 0 0.025. So back and forth between scientific notation and standard form is what we're looking for.